There is actually a chance that this big feature was a cattle enclosure, or a horse paddock, or something else. But because these banks and potential post holes are so crisscrossed by later ploughing, it'll have to remain an enigma. Dan, I've got some bad news for you. OK, break it to me gently then. It also means I need to have a chat with Diane. There is nothing that ties in with this house at all in this field. Right, OK, so where do we go from here then? I don't know, how do you feel about that? It, it's difficult because it, it creates more questions than it answers, really. You know, I can't imagine that this field, you know, just, you know, th this area, they just suddenly put a house here in the 1530s. You know, there's got to be something that went before it. You know, it's such a perfect location. It's near sort of the Roman road, it's near the river, it's near the ford. You, you can't imagine that people haven't used it for living on sort mm. of since time began almost. If we want to find evidence of an earlier house or the first version of that house, mm. then we've got to move in that direction. That's fine. Moving in that direction means moving into your lovely garden. Moving into your lovely garden means ripping it up, at least bits of it. That's fine. We'll just dig holes in the lawn and see what happens. So a lot of our effort is now shifting to the area immediately around the standing Tudor Manor House, as we try to find any previous buildings that may have stood on this site. The test pits are so close to the house because geophys have already eliminated an area further to the south that Stuart thought may contain a Hendra, an early Welsh settlement. But undeterred, Stuart has another target, as he believes there should be some sort of structure on the original road into the site. We need to get across to as close as that wall as possible, so looking at some sort of L shape. Well, well it, what we're looking for over here, find our level, here. and then we can chase it back. It'll be a yeah. funny shaped trench. Yeah. It's a funny shaped area. We've got to have a funny shaped trench, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> <You're> mixed. <laughs> We're putting in a couple of trenches here because we'd expect an earlier manor to have a defensive wall and a gatehouse. Because during medieval times, this was the wild Welsh West. Constant feuds and lawlessness meant even the most powerful families needed to defend themselves. It's funny that with, on that door there are no defences at all, even nope. though that's the, the first door you come to. But the second door, pull that across. Certainly the current manor house is a monument to the art of survival. Right. And that. And... The same thing. Another drawbar. But Another we're on the first bar. floor. Now that doorway there goes through to the Lord's private quarters and that's defended in the same way. So the Pritchards could barricade themselves in there if all else failed? Well, if, if all else really fails, they can go down this little escape stair here, down to another part of the house. You'll see that this is a house of power and paranoia. There's no such paranoia over in the moat field, more a profound sense of relief and jubilation because we've just made a remarkably rare discovery. Isn't that wonderful? That looks very prehistoric Absolutely. and it looks like it's tending more towards the Bronze Age than well, Iron Age. That's but let's what have the, I was going to say, let's, let's, let's have, have the local opinion. knowledge. Let's have a, let's have a <laughs> it's got to be Bronze Age, hasn't it? We I mean, Bronze Age, yeah. That is stunning. That's really something. I've never dug a piece of Bronze Age pot up in my life and I, I've been digging over 50 years. You've never ever no, dug a I, piece I've of... Seen, Pieces in museums would have, no, 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 never seen any. This pot suggests that people may have been living here during the Bronze Age. And when you consider the whole population of the UK 4,000 years ago was only about 200,000, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. But I mean, this would be an ideal place for a little Bronze Age settlement down by the stream. Lovely place. Yeah. I think yeah. we're, oh, just superb. Yeah, yeah. Let's find some more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>